here with a brokeplanteater.com and I'm a broke plant eater. Uh, I'm not broke because I eat plants or live a healthy lifestyle. I'm broke because I'm a normal person with a normal budget, but my healthy food does not affect my budget. In fact, it keeps me in budget. So I'm gonna be showing you some really awesome recipes. Today we're making a strawberry shortcake, but a healthy version of one. So we're gonna use things like whole wheat white flour, we're gonna use agave instead of sugar, and we're gonna use some coconut sugar on our strawberries instead of regular sugar. Now if it was prime season in summertime, I wouldn't even bother putting some sugar on these, but because it's winter or really fall turning into winter, I just put some coconut sugar on them. So I hope you like the video. First, you'll start off by putting three and a quarter cup of white wheat flour into a food processor. You'll then add two teaspoons of baking powder, cover, and pulse twice. Two times. One, two. You'll then add in some veggie oil, one cup or you can substitute some applesauce, two third cups of agave syrup. I use blue agave. You're gonna use one and a half cups of non-dairy milk and one teaspoon of vanilla. And just mix, 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 mix. You can uncover this at some point. Brush down the sides. Make sure everything's getting all nice and mixed in. It gets really sticky. Once you've got that nice and mixed up, you are then going to transfer it into a greased and floured baking dish of your choice. I used a bunt pan, and trust me, it's pretty difficult to get that mixture out. It's takes a little bit of effort but it's well worth it so just make sure you get as much as you can out and off of your blade and out of that food processor Once you've gotten that all out, you just want to make sure that it's nice and even because it will bake just as it appears. So if it's lumpy and bumpy, that's what it's going to look like. Bake at 350 degrees for 30 minutes. You can start scooping out your strawberries in the meantime. I just took a small, almost like a baby spoon and just scooped out those cores and chopped them all up. Once you've gotten them all chopped up, you're just gonna add two tablespoons of coconut sugar to your strawberries. Again, if this was prime season and these strawberries were really super ripe and beautiful, I wouldn't bother putting any sugar on them at all. But it's fall and so I wanna make sure they're nice and sweet for that whole white wheat flour cake. Once you've gotten them all mixed up, go ahead and sneak a bite. Mm-mm, they're ready. Now time for our coconut whipped cream cream. You are gonna take two cans, 5.4 ounces each of coconut cream that you've kept in the refrigerator overnight all the way in the back of the fridge so that it gets nice and cold. And you're gonna scrape out all of the cream that separates from the milk. It kind of sits toward the top of the can and you will set aside the milk. You can save it for later if you want, and you can put it in a smoothie, or you can chuck it. We here at abrokeplanteater.com never chuck that milk. We always keep it, we always save it, and we use it for smoothies, or protein shakes, or anything else that we can think of, but that's how we save a buck.
All right, and you're just gonna whip, whip, whip all of this coconut cream that you've worked so hard to get out of the can, and you're gonna try to make sure that it's nice and smooth. You definitely don't want any sort of chunks left in here. Although coconut cream sounds delicious, when you're just getting it out of the can, it doesn't taste as good as it sounds. You've definitely gotta add all of the good stuff we're about to add uh, in order for it to taste delicious. So just keep whipping. I, I know it seems like a really long portion of the video right now, but whipping is super important. Once you've gotten it all whipped, you're gonna add one teaspoon of vanilla and three tablespoons of organic powdered sugar. You're gonna whip that in there and it'll get a little thicker, not quite like frosting and not quite like whipped cream. It'll be a coconut whipped cream. And I continue to scrape down sides and mix, 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 mix. And I'm gonna just make sure everything looks, oh, does it taste good? Tastes good to me. I'm gonna add one tablespoon of non-dairy half and half. I just use a coconut creamer from Trader Joe's. It's like a $1.99. Once you've gotten that all whipped up, you wanna make sure that you get everything off of those blades because we are getting ready to plate. So plant-based friends, I showed you a few different ways on how you can serve this cake and how you can store this cake. This is one of my favorites. This is just a clear mug so that you can see everything. I got it at the dollar store. I'm gonna take a bite and I hope you guys enjoy all of my recipes just as much as I do and I hope you come back for more.